Yeah, I'll see you. Uh, Hi, Ruth, Matt Centrowitz. Um, take us to the race. How's it feel? Long. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was just like uh, I haven't raced in over a couple months, and for me, that's kind of a little unusual. I usually like to race a lot, race myself into shape, and so today was just about getting out there, getting a good effort in, and definitely got that that last lap. Um, obviously, it was slow with the conditions today. Yeah. Pretty cold, windy, and uh, with no with no rabbit, obviously, no one really wanted to take the lead, and that's totally understandable. I mean, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just got what I needed out of it. So, what what uh, what is holding you out of these races the last few months? Um, well, I shut my indoor season down early because this wasn't the fitness I wanted to be. And honestly, there's probably one more race I would have done. So it wasn't a long indoor season as it was. No U.S. indoor championships for me, and obviously because there's no worlds and stuff. So, um, and then uh, I wanted to race about a month ago, and then I had this adductor issue that kind of came up, um, and uh, it's kind of lingered for the last few weeks. And only just about the last week it started coming around. And so I told myself and told Alberto if I was 100 percent going this last week, I wanted to race, didn't want to keep putting it off. And so here I am. So a lot of people will be you know, surprised that right, we had an Olympic gold medalist in the slow heat. What was behind that decision-making process? Uh, I mean, I think it would be more surprising if I came here and did a slow heat in the 15, but fuck, it's not my event. So I mean, it's just like, uh, you know, just for me to kind of mess around with a, an off event early on. I'm going to be running a lot of 15s and miles this year. And so, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get a rust buster with an over-distance event. I find I do pretty well um, with a lot of the strength stuff. and. And like I said, with my adductor, I kind of want to stay away from the faster stuff. And so, um, yeah, just kind of put me to join me this. And also, very, especially after, that last race, after this race, I'm pretty happy with that decision. Uh, kind of felt pretty lousy midway through. And uh, yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't ready for 13, whatever um, those guys are trying to run. So, what about uh, health wise? Did your adductor, fit, did anything you know, come up for you that last 200 meters? No, no, no. I mean, I, I, did, some, I did some workouts uh, this last week that were faster than race pace okay. here. So, that was just kind of like to test out, making sure that everything was fine, so. Um, I blanked on what I was going to ask you next. I apologize there. Oh, so at this meet, at this meet three years ago, you said you're going to do one 5K a year, and you were fine with one a year, and then you haven't done one since. Uh, so what was it like to, you know, get back into, you know, uh, the, the 5K after three years? Yeah, it's good, you know. Um, the, the feeling in this 5K is, like, unlike any other feeling in, in, in 800 or 15, and to me it's a lot tougher because, for me, concentrating for that long and, um, trying to close fast off of uh, you know whatever 11 half laps of running is, is tougher than a 15 so for me it's just good practice and makes going back to the 15 a fresh, uh, breath of fresh air and a lot easier so um, yeah it's just kind of that was the, the reason behind it the last couple years I would love to start with a 5k at the beginning of the season but last year I had a injury at the beginning of the season again and uh, I had to play so much catch up that you know I think my first race was like about a month out from the trials and so it was it was, like, it was at Portland right the, yeah and yeah. so I mean they didn't allow me to really do a 5k so coming out here was nice because um, I feel like I'm way ahead of last year obviously getting a race done in, in early May so. so you have some teammates who are uh, pretty good 5k runners Do those yeah, guys have anything to say to you this week no, I mean, laps, um, one and a half yeah, I mean, Eric did the 15-8, yeah. didn't ask me, I didn't even tell him anything, I mean, <laughs> yeah. we're all grown men, yeah, we, we've done, we've done enough of these races where, like, you know, I think we all know what to do, so, it's kind of the coaches. Right, man, thanks for